John, how do you explain something like this to your little boy? Well, you know, we haven't started doing that. Uh, my, son's, my son's interested in hunting and, and in guns in general. He's got Nerf guns and things like that. Um, but the only thing I did say is that, uh, you know, that uh, you see what happens when you try to solve problems with guns. You can't solve problems with guns. There's always going to be there's always going to be more problems. But, you know, this is such a random act. I I, I don't want to raise alarm to uh, such a rare thing to happen in Tucson, Arizona, um, which is a wonderful you know, city, and and the northwest side is a wonderful community. But uh, it just it just shows that it can happen anywhere, and that's. I think Christina, you know, she was born on 9-11, the day the towers came down in New York City. And she left this, this, this tragic day. But everything in the middle day was beautiful. We had nine, nine beautiful years with her. I know, I know she wouldn't want things to change. Would not want restrictions. I, I saw what happened to, to our lives, specifically because I traveled quite a bit. After 9-11, travel became a nightmare. We don't need any more restrictions on our society. I mean, I just, I just think we got to friends and family that we have surrounded ourselves with in this tragedy. If, if maybe that fellow who was shooting everybody, if he had some friends and family around him, uh, you know, prior to this, maybe this wouldn't happen. Do you think, I mean, is that, is that the, one of the lessons we can take away from this, John? I mean, I know when you lose a loved one, when, when the country sees a tragedy like this happen, we all we want, want to take some sort of a lesson away from it. You know, some, some have made it political, some have talked about the mental health system. What is your takeaway on it? Yeah, I, you know, I, I think there's always going to be random acts. Um, but, but I think Christina, in our family, generally believes that there are a lot of good people out there. And that, that's, that's what we're going to take away from this. After we've seen the outpouring uh, of uh, sentiments from, from all our friends, our family, people that we don't even know. Um, no, we, we don't wish this on anybody. And, and I'm sure they didn't wish it on us. If we, if we live in a country like the United States where we are more free than, than anywhere else, we are subject to things like this happening. And I think that's the price we have to pay. John, is there anything you need? Is there anything our viewers can do? No, I, I just think uh, for, for a little girl, be the pilgrim. She lit up the world and everybody affected everybody that she ever met. So uh, I think uh, very proud of her. I, I think President Obama even mentioned her name. I think that's something that she would be very proud of herself. And I just think, uh, I think if people just pray for her, we, we know she's up in heaven. Indeed she is. She was the only girl on an all-boys baseball team. She had just celebrated her first communion and elected to the student council. Uh, too short a life. Now gone at age nine. John, our condolences again to you, to your wife Christina, to your son, and to your entire family. All the best. Thank you so much for being with us on this tragic day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.